Hello there, my beautiful Leos, and welcome to your next 48 hours prediction. We are looking into what spirit is predicting for you for the next 48 hours. This is a timeless reading, so whenever you see this reading is whenever you are supposed to be receiving it and getting this message. But first, I'm going to start it off with another Timu haul. I am still obsessed with this place, so I am going to show you all the new things that I got. I got a couple Leo things as well. So the first thing I got is this Leo tapestry, tapestry, however you say it. Um, I really, really love it. And I love that it actually has the colors of Leo. Y'all know how I feel about when I get something zodiac sign E and it doesn't really match the color of the zodiac sign. So I am very happy that this one does and it's very nice. It's not too big and it's also not too small. So I definitely feel like it is cute to be anywhere that you would like it. So, and everyone knows that I'm obsessed with lights. Obviously, got my new little light candles up. Timu also has these as well. Let's show you. So, I got this mandala light because I'm really into lights and things looking cute. I got another light too that I will show you. But I did get this mandala light and I absolutely love it. The color is so beautiful, so nice. And I'm going to show you what it looks like turned on. Let me just plug it in and look at that. She is beauty. She is grace. I am obsessed. I love it so much. So yeah, I got this mandala because it lit up and I really like things that light up for some reason. Um, I'm just me and lights just get along very well. So I also got this other light <clears throat> and it is going to be a favorite. I'm sure it is angel wing led lights. <clears throat> and the quality of all this stuff is so good. I was a little bit iffy with getting lights this time around. Um, but I mean, I am very pleasantly surprised. It's even like wrapped really nicely too. It's like double wrapped, saran wrapped as well. And it is beautiful. Wait till y'all see this one lit up. Hold on one second. Let me plug it in so you can see this one lit up. And I am so excited to get all these up on my walls. And look at that. Ah, so beautiful. I got it in blue, so you can get it in any color that you want. Sorry, I just unplugged it on accident. I got it in blue, but you can get any color you'd like. But so beautiful, these angel wings. I actually really liked the warm white color as well for the angel wings. So I think I'm going to get another one of the warm white so I can have blue and warm white. But yeah, so Leo, oops. There's my light going back on. That's what I got from Timu. I'm literally obsessed. I have more stuff too. I just, I have like, I bought so many things. I got these Leo towels. How freaking cute are these? How cute are these Leo towels? Comes with a big towel, hand towel, all Leo embroidered. So if you want to get some of these stuffs on Timu, you can see my um, discount code there. And use it so you can get your own $100 bundle. And it is definitely worth it. I'm obsessed with all this stuff. And I cannot wait to show you more. I have one thing at the end that I'll show you. But I have run out of time. So let's get started for our read. But stick around towards the end if you want to see one more thing that I got. So let's start it off here with a divine direction for you, Leo. And see where spirit is directing your energy for the next 48 hours. And Leo, your divine direction is holiday. It's time to go on that holiday that you have been dreaming about. Live life. So spirit really wants you to take a vacation. Do more for yourself. Go on a holiday. Even if it's one day, two days, three days, a week. 
it's time for you to go into different environments. And I feel like now with the weather breaking in certain areas of the earth, it is definitely a big moment for people to travel. So I feel like spirit could also be predicting that you want to go on a vacation and or predicting that you are planning to go on one. Others of you, Spirit is saying, yep, you're not just thinking about it for no reason. Go on that holiday. So let's see what else you have. Your Moonology card is show the world the real you, full moon in Aquarius. So Spirit wants your energy to branch out, to have fun, to live life, to be you, to not, you know, take things so seriously all the time and just say, you know, you deserve a night of fun. You deserve a couple days of fun. You deserve a couple days of relaxation. And with the full moon in Aquarius coming in, I definitely feel like spirit wants you to step more into your authentic self and show the world who you are. Because you really never know who you'll be around, who needs to hear what you have to say. I say that all the time. And a lot of the times you will align with those people that need something that you offer in energy. So let's see, some of you have Aquarius in your chart or around you. The angel that is with you for the next 48 hours is trust your vibe. So trust in your intuition. You're feeling a need to do something and you're feeling a call to go somewhere and spirit is saying this is not for no reason. Thank you, angels. Today, I choose to trust my intuition and your guidance. Yeah. So I feel like for a lot of you, you're definitely, if you don't already feel it, feeling an urge to do something, be somewhere, go somewhere, and it's not something that is just happening. It's not something that is just coming into your mind for nothing. So let's see what your tea leaf predictions are. You have a flyer out with the crown. The crown says honor and respect will come to you. You know, if you, some of you spirit is predicting that when you do go on vacation for whatever vacation you have planned, I feel like you're going to be like really loved on vacation. If that makes sense. You know, when like you go on vacation and you just meet like the greatest people and you guys just get along so well and you're just like, wow, like this was the greatest vacation ever. Like I met the best people. I get that kind of energy with the crown underneath the holiday where spirit is predicting that you may meet some really great people around this time by you branching out and going different places. We have, ooh, the four leaf clover with great good fortune. So the more you are yourself, the more that you do not care and do not fear judgment, the more you are lucky, the more you are fortunate. I mean, the crown and the clover, some of your name starts with the C. And you have the firecracker with excitement. All right, so you have a beautiful prediction here for the next 48 hours. It looks like things are looking up. Things are getting more fun for you. You're feeling happier. And it looks like something is going to happen for you. I feel like you may get honored for something, complimented, acknowledged for something, and it feels very fortunate. It feels very exciting for you here. Wow, this is a really positive energy for you, Leo. I love your tea leaves prediction. Let's see what your tarot theme cards are giving you here for the next 48 hours. Leo, first card out is share the love with the three of cups. Yeah, people love you. There it is. People want to share the love with you. They want to tell you they love you. They want to be around you. People want you to go out with them. People want you to come. Some of you are going to get invited somewhere. I mean, you got a holiday, three of cups with the crown. Um, I definitely get there's an invitation coming your way. We also have seek the truth with the seven of swords. So it looks like you're going to come face to face with being your authentic self and no longer hiding who you are, you know, and just being you because spirit is indicating that with the seven of swords here, it's showing that the more you are yourself, the more you will enjoy the things that happen to you and your life and things along the, your, along the lines when you put out that facade, when you hide who you are, you will attract people who also put on facades, people who also aren't being exactly who they are. 
And you have nurture with the empress. Beautiful. So it looks like you're going to feel super loved around this time. A lot of attention and a lot of acknowledgement for being you. And I feel like you're going to see something around this time as well. I do get an invitation energy. So I feel like you're going to get invited somewhere. I definitely feel an invitation for a lot of you. Can you clarify this spirit, please, for Leo? On the Three of Cups, we have the Page of Wands. On the Seven of Swords, we have the Hierophant. And on the Empress, we have the Ace of Swords. Yeah. Okay, so bear with me as I figure out some storylines here because I am hearing some storylines right now, but they're not the same. So first story, I feel like for some of you, you may have felt avoided by someone. Avoided by someone maybe at work, um, maybe at home, maybe a friend, a family member, a love, whatever. I almost feel like for some of you, you felt avoided by someone. It's like somebody was only giving you a little bit of words. They weren't like if they knew you were going to be in the kitchen at five o'clock, they made sure by 445 they were not in the kitchen no longer. So they didn't have to run into you. I feel like there's going to be a turnaround with this energy. Here, I feel like if there is someone that has been avoiding you, Leo, I feel like this person is going to all of a sudden start talking to you more. All of a sudden start being in your energy more. Um, Ace of Swords here. All of a sudden be more happy with you. Be more exciting with you instead of just being like, hey, Leo. It's like they're coming back into the energy. Hey, Leo, how's your day? But it looks like for a bit they could have been like, oh, hi. Like, how are you? I don't know. I kind of feel like you've been getting the cold shoulder from someone and it looks like things are going to change here. You know, I feel like for some of you, maybe this person just needed a vacation. You know, a lot of people project their own crap onto other people. And I do feel like this could have been happening for you, Leo, where I do definitely feel like for some of you, you were getting the cold shoulder from someone and there's going to be a turnaround with this energy where things are going to feel more... I guess, warm from them, literally. And I feel like you felt that. Trust your vibes here. So I definitely feel like if there's been an avoidance of good energy with you and someone, it looks like the next 48 hours, there's a prediction of that changing. Interesting. Okay, second storyline I feel here is that I feel like somebody's going to try to reconcile with you. Now this could be the same person that's been giving you the cold shoulder. Um, but you have a big emphasis on good news and communication. So I definitely do feel like you may hear from some people in the next 48 hours that kind of surprise you. Um, I almost feel like for some of you, you may hear from an employer or an employer that you used to work for. I almost feel like someone may want to want you to work for them again. They may have let you go or you may have left that job or there's like a realization that like maybe that wasn't the best decision. It's like somebody's realizing that Giving you the cold shoulder or detaching from you or pulling back from the energy or letting you go as a whole was not the greatest decision. It's like someone's realizing that. And they're either coming around in a uh, reconciliation vibe or just trying to communicate a little bit more or actually do step into your energy like, hey, Leo, here I am. Let's see. Page of Wands to the world, the Hierophant to the Three of Swords, there it is, and the Ace of Swords to the Queen of Swords, yeah. I definitely feel like there is going to be resolution with somebody who's been giving you the cold shoulder. It, this, it does show me at work, or it does show me somewhere that you feel committed to, so you could have been getting the cold shoulder in a relationship or at home by a family member, but it ain't happening, something's gonna change here. Justice, there it is, two of swords, and the high priestess, to the chariot, the seven of wands, the hermit, the six of cups, the star, and the six of pentacles. Yeah, there's like finally going to be or an attempt to rebalance. I feel like there's been like walking on eggshells, not really saying too much around this person or not doing too much. I get an avoidance energy, but it looks like you two are moving away from that. Or this person is moving towards wanting to be warmer towards you. I don't know why I'm getting temperature stuff here right now, but I just am. So I definitely feel like for a lot of you, 
You know, if you've been giving someone the cold shoulder, Leo, they may try to resolve things with you around this time. They may try to talk to you more or ask you what's up. But I definitely feel like somebody feels your distance either because A, they've been giving you the cold shoulder and you kind of just took it and just stayed to yourself. And they're like, oh, Leo, where are they? And or... They've been gave you the cold shoulder. There's been distance. It's like someone's having a change of heart towards you. Or you're having a change of heart towards them. I feel like it's more or less towards you. You know, some of you go on a holiday from this person. Some of you, you know, if they're going to keep giving you the cold shoulder, then just stay away from them. That's it. And I almost feel like some of you, you have been doing that. And or some of you may actually go on vacation or they will go on vacation. And then when they come back or you come back, it's like cold shoulder never happened. Hey, Leo, how was your vacation? Or hey, whatever. I'm, I get that energy where it's just kind of like minimal or no nothing to like, oh, my gosh, where have you been? Or, oh, my gosh, so glad you're back. I guess I, I feel like it slightly could be a little bit fake, but um, I almost feel like for some of you, this person hasn't even real. They weren't even realizing they were giving you the cold shoulder so hard or whatever reason why they were doing it had more to do with them than it had to do with you. And like when people come into those realizations, then they feel bad. So I feel like somebody's either A, feeling bad about giving you the cold shoulder or B, feeling bad about or feeling guilty and or coming out of that energy to now try to be more balanced with you here. And I feel like that's also could be why you have show the world the real you with the full moon in Aquarius to where you don't change how you are. You just change where you be, where you're being, basically. So I feel like for a lot of you Leos, get ready for someone to warm up towards you. And I feel like this person could have been warm at once and then we're cold and now back to warm. So I don't know if this person's an oven or something, but that's what Spirit's predicting for you in the next 48 hours. A lot of people around you, possibly invitations for getaways. And also I feel like somebody is going to warm up to you again or warm up to you in general. Because I do feel like for some of you, this person may have not been warm. I feel like you could have recently just met this individual and you know, some people are a little bit standoffish before they get comfortable. That could also be what's happening or someone's warming up to you a little bit more. Could also be love. I feel like this has to do with an individual that there is a connection to or could be a connection to. So I don't feel like it's fully platonic or family. This could be love where, you know, your person's been giving you the cold shoulder or this person has been distant for a while and here they come around. And it definitely looks like it's going to happen through some sort of communication and conversation. So this is what I have here for you, Leo, for the next 48 hour prediction. Pretty interesting message. I don't really remember getting a cold shoulder warm up energy message for you and if a while, if any, if any time. So get ready because someone may have a random ass change of heart here. <laughs> in terms of zodiac signs in the spread that could be around you or um, in your chart, you have really, really strong Aquarius. So this could have, have to do with an Aquarius. Um, we do have a uh, Taurus, Libra. Cancer, Virgo, Pisces. All right, so let's see what your ending oracle is here from the Star Codes Astro Oracle. And then after I read your ending oracle, we will get you a good karma card. All right, and we have Aquarius. Collaborate, card number 11. So there is a very, very high possibility that this person has Aquarius in their chart somewhere. I mean, I did feel cold shoulder and detachment energy and Aquarius energy, I personally feel like is one of the slightly, I guess it's going to sound a little judgy, but y'all know I have no judgment, okay? I have, I have so much Aquarius in my chart too, and I know sometimes I could sound really stern um, or mean, so I get it. Um, 
I kind of feel like Aquarius is the meaner one of the <laughs> um, air signs. I feel like they really know how to give that cold shoulder. They really know how to detach real good. Um, so that makes sense. That's why you have all this Aquarius energy. And I feel like this definitely could be somebody that you have collaborated with or there's chance to collaborate on. Um, so this is pretty good news. I mean, granted, they're showing that there was difficulty, but there's good news that there's a turnaround to change your heart and this person warming up a little bit more, but not surprised with you getting Aquarius energy. You got the full moon in Aquarius up here. And for a lot of you, spirit probably knows it's an Aquarius or somebody who could take on that type of energy of detachment and cold, aloof energy. So here we go. The symbol for Aquarius is not water. But the water barrier, the person fetching, carrying, and pouring the water who provides a great service to the humanity, to the community. Aquarius is ruled by Saturn and traditional astrology co-ruled by Uranus and modern astrology and is connected to the ankles, which we use to turn from one person to another in conversation. Your action with this card is lived by your philosophy. Aquarius traditional ruler Saturn asked you to know what society expects of us and to care about our reputation. However, Aquarius' co-ruler co Uranus encourages us to be our free selves from tradition or others' opinions and to be able to think outside of the box. Yes, it can feel like a paradox, but if it offers a healthy tension to manifest the true you. Know the pattern and riff on it with your own invention. To get to this free place, investigate your philosophy, philosophy, which is your operating manual to make sure it's alive and authentic. Cultivate allies. Find others called by the same causes and work together. Weave people together to create community. This web will bring in new friendships, purpose, and connections, which may lead to romantic sparks. Throughout the process, concisely, consciously, y'all, I can't read today. What's going on? Throughout the process, consciously maintain a balance between your own needs and those of the collective. Your gift with this card is the authentic Aquarius gift encourages you to let go of previous constructs and listen to the source within. Honor the reality that you are a unique individual, but you also have a responsibility to contribute to the health of your community. Yeah, so I feel if I'm going to, let's see, be my own prediction, I'm going to predict that this has something to do with someone who's around you or once was around you somehow, some way. I mean, you even have the star, which is Aquarius's oracle, I'm sorry, major arcana in the tarot. So, dang. And if you feel like this is happening to you, take on the qualities of Aquarius, you know, detach. Maybe don't be mean per se and take on unevolved Aquarius qualities, but detach in a healthy way. Kind of just how that paradox was explaining. So let's see what we have as your good karma card for the next 48 hours, Leo. And you have fill an expired parking meter. A little change goes a long way to making someone's day. So if you're around parking meters and you see it's done and the person's still parked there and you have a quarter on you, it'd be good for you to do that. I like that idea, actually. I actually really like this deck because it gives you a bunch of ideas. I wouldn't, I mean, I, I would probably walk past one. I don't know if I would think of it. Maybe I would, actually. Sometimes I'm like hyper aware. But there you go. There is your idea. And my last thing I wanted to show y'all from what I got from Timu. So I got this hair enhancement comb. Because as most of you know, I am a massage therapist, body work as well. Um, it's so funny. Somebody commented on the channel and they're like, Miss M, you'd be a great life coach. Um, so funny, I actually am certified in life coaching. I just don't offer it. Um, I kind of just put it in my readings per se, I guess. Um, and I feel like I'm more of like a spiritual life coach than like a societal life coach, but whatever. Anyways, so basically I'm really into massaging the cranium, massaging the head and like moving all that stuff around, like helping people, like literally what this lady is doing. 
massaging the temples of the side of the, the frontalis muscle. So anyways, I'm really into like um, all, all of everything around the head. And I really wanted to incorporate more head massage, scalp massage and stuff like that. So I found this on Timu and I was like super excited. So it is a hair enhancement comb. So it turns on and lights up the LED. And I'm pretty sure it steams too. If this is not the one that steams, I know they had one that steams. Maybe I didn't get it because I already have a steamer. But yeah, I cannot wait to use it. It has these bristles the gentler ones and then the ems bristles so i'm super excited to see change in people's uh scalp health as well so yeah that's what i got y'all and i hope you each and every one of you have a wonderful next 48 hours wherever you are at in the world i love each and every one of you out there my beautiful wonderful leos have a good one. I'll talk to all of y'all very, very soon. Bye now.